Okay, here it is, as promised, the leopard video for your five animal kung fu training. Um, before we begin, I want to basically give you an idea of what's going on here. Uh, since I am far away right now, I'm in Michigan, about 2,200 miles away from all of most of you who are watching this, um, I can't work with you directly. Right now, if you're trying to learn kung fu, it's really your responsibility to practice what you've already learned, take these videos, learn what you can, and um, use this opportunity to develop your autonomy as an artist, okay, because uh, to just take the information and like directly from me and never really express it yourself when you're not following your teacher isn't really embracing the art. It's just learning a form. That's it. I mean, you develop a little bit of discipline and whatnot in class, maybe. Uh, holding horse stances for longer than is comfortable is good for anybody. But um, only if you can do it yourself. It's like conceding to only operate on another's will. It's not, it's not what I entered my agreement with you. Um, our agreement is not that I will make you reliant upon me. It's that I'll teach you something and you'll be able to use it for yourself. Okay, so this video is really how I take the wood element and train it. I haven't had a leopard day in a long time, but a leopard day is a wood day, is a liver day, is a gallbladder day, is a dealing with anger, resentment, rage, jealousy, if they're running through me, because those belong to the liver in Chinese medicine. When the liver is balanced, uh, you will experience more likely love and compassion than anger, jealousy, and rage. Okay, leopard style kung fu is very focused. Your eyes always have a target. They're always looking at something and they've, and your intention is expressed right in them. This is important because the eyes are related to the wood element uh, in your qigong training, in your Chinese medicine training, in your kung fu training. If your liver is imbalanced, your eyes are off. I've been practicing drunken fist as my personal training, my learning something new all on my own mission in Michigan. Drunken tr fist has been my training, and I realize that as my liver gets challenged by alcohol, I have to be very deliberate about my focus, or my eyes kind of do their own thing. And so, I mean, anyone who is of age and has, or whatever, anyone who's experienced a buzz from alcohol understands the challenges of the, um, anything which may be considered in Chinese medicine as a liver function. I've seen people get, uh, fluctuate from angry to loving, to full of rage, to full of love, real quick when, they're ex when they are intoxicated. It seems to be all liver stuff through both the study of the Chinese medicine and also through the practice of the Kung Fu and through the observation of people, which is where all of this medicine comes from can't think of a better source of information about humans than actual humans, okay? So anyways, uh, as far as this Kung Fu training is concerned, if you are experiencing experience, uh, 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 jealousy, um, and you realize that sometimes you make poor decisions in how you speak, uh, or even just how you form your thoughts, okay, your thought, your word, your action, if they are influenced by jealousy, anger, rage, that's okay, it happens. You're a human, and you have a liver, it's going to happen. Um, maybe consider practicing leopard kung fu that day. Um, leopard has a controlled, moderated, focused release of chi. You are making quick, snappy motions towards very direct, tar or very, very specific targets. 
you're focusing on manipulating joints, on moving, so moving your opponent's elbow, moving the opponent's shoulder, basically locking up their joints, their fingers, breaking stuff. Okay, you have to be very metered in this practice since leopard is designed to break bones and I can't imagine to ever want to use leopard to break somebody's bone unless it's an emergency situation where there's no other option you need to be able to meter your chi you need to meter how much intention or be able to focus so well that you can put in just the amount of energy that you put someone maybe in a wrist or an arm or a shoulder lock and it puts them at the point of compliance misbehaving, but doesn't break their arm. You learn this in practicing with an apparatus. You use the wooden man, and well, I use the wooden man all the time in my leopard training whenever it's available. Uh, I have a pole behind me. This pole, I took a canoe to a place where there was a log, and I tied it up to the canoe, and I paddled home. I drug it up the stairs, and I dug a hole in the ground. I stuck it in the ground, and I wrapped it with string it was free. This is an incredibly amazing training apparatus. It's wood, it's made of a tree, it's great for leopard, okay? And it's free. In the desert it may be hard to find such a thing, but I'll bet if you got a little bit creative you could find a log. You could put it in the ground, and you could hit it. It's amazing training, it's good for your body, it's incredibly good for your body. Um, you as a uh, human belong to the wood element just like all other uh, plants and animals and so um, interacting with it is good climb a tree hit a dead one maybe give someone a hug once in a while eat plants straight from the ground cut a piece of chard eat it right there uh, pick an apple from a tree shoot pick a green apple from a tree and eat it. Wood of wood. Um, in the morning, first thing you do, or your first meal, go outside to the apple tree, pick a green apple off the tree, and eat it immediately. Wood of wood of wood, if you have that option. If you can contemplate the five elements, understand the wood element, the more you do so, the better your leopard training will be, the better your eight pieces of brocade training will be, the better your liver pur purging exercises and the healing sounds will be, the healthier your physical body will be, the more uh, mindfulness you'll have of all the muscles, tendons, and ligaments as you use them. Mental activity belongs to the uh, wood element. And so just contemplation alone, contemplation of all the elements is good for your wood element, good for your liver. Maybe sometimes you just need to contemplate something. Just like thinking of a joke, if you don't want to laugh through a joke that you're telling, laugh at your own jokes, you tell it to yourself enough times until it's no longer funny to you. And then you go tell the joke. Well, if a situation is bothering you, maybe you just need to contemplate it until you realize it's not that big of an issue. Sometimes you get infuriating, infuriated as you sit and think about something that makes you angry. Fine, as long as you're maybe in a peaceful place, leaning up against a tree, shutting your eyes and thinking about it, at least you're not hitting somebody. You can figure out what your issue is. If it's too strong, go and practice leopard for a while. Move the, move the energy through your body. You can burn your energy a lot uh, in a much more healthy fashion often through just doing physical work, using the body, hitting stuff, um, doing some kung fu, doing some qigong. Use the muscles to burn off the energy for a while if you need to. And then when you're breathing hard and you're sweating hard, and you've completed an actual good training session, then sit and just watch your mind. Maybe bring up the topic that's been upsetting you, the topic that drove you to do wood element training that day. Think about it. Okay. Yeah, okay, so so-and-so did this, and that seems like they're doing this, and I feel like I'm being deceived, and that really sucks. Ugh, this person's really upsetting me. Okay, and I think about it 
for a while and I run the story through and I realize it's just a story. And there's nothing to be upset about here. Um, it's just an opportunity for me to get stronger. It's an opportunity for me to watch my mind. It's an opportunity for me to learn how to rise above my observation of a situation, which may be completely delusional, it usually is, and um, maybe communicate with others, maybe see what's really going on, maybe direct attention toward the solution. If you can run out the problem, the solution will show up. Just like if there's a lot of smoke in your house because you just burnt something on the stove, you open a window, you open all the doors, and you let fresh air in, and the smoke will naturally dissipate. So, that's my rant on wood. Um, my only reason for doing wood element training today is that the first animal in leopard, or the first animal in five animal fist, is leopard. And so that's what the first video is about. Throughout my training, I will be contemplating the meaning of the wood element. I will be probably focusing on muscles, tendons, ligaments, um, strengthening the physical body as far as just its ability to actually be used, interact with the world. So I'm going to be hitting that pole, um, I'm going to be doing low stances, I'm going to be moving quickly, uh, snappy movements with focused eyes is very important in the wood element. Um, in Leopard Kung Fu. The contemplation of the wood element is the shun practice that you want to focus on when you're doing wood element Kung Fu. So now I'm going to go ahead and train and of course after the video is shot and uploaded I will add a voiceover to it to add comments as to how you can maybe use this to benefit your training or not, depending on if it's relevant to you.